in darkness. I shall be light. Times of doubt. I shall keep faith. I serve the God Emperor. These are the formulated battle strategies that I have come up with. It is your job, with Marnie Scalga, to figure out which battle strategy is the best and control the sector in the war. Remember, the war is arduous, and the enemy may trick you by luring you in. Is there anything else I can help you with? There are four strategies that we can take. These are on the screen now. You must choose which strategy you want to go with, and which one you think poses the least risk to the Ultramarine's army. Once you have chosen from the four, you will need to consult Chief Librarian Tigarius as to how you navigate the psychic areas. These are the psychic threats we have identified. It is up to you if you want to attack these threats. If you need extra firepower and psychic prowess, you can call in the Terminator Librarians. Do you need any assistance? We can call in librarians from the other different battle companies. This may be a simple matter, and all you need is firepower. Would you like to call in any of the ten companies? My name is Uriel Ventress, and I have the fourth company at my disposal. Pick how many space marines you need to call to your aid. My name is Titus, and I deal with local threats and help the Imperial Guard. How many threats are you dealing with today? Would you like my full support? I will send in the Phobos Armored Marines. It is my job to assault the enemy lines with a swift and deadly attack. I will train you to progress and become a Space Marine. This is your first campaign. And I can see that you need some help. Let's take a look at the two armies that will be fighting head to head in this battle. In this army, there is one Morlock, 12 Tyranid warriors, 20 Gene Stealers. Three Carnifexes, one Biovore, one Flying Hive Tyrant, one Drop Pod, coming to a total of 2,000 points. Let's proceed to the first turn. The Tower Empire won the roll off, so they go first. Once both sides were deployed, the Tower began their movement phase. The Devilfish advanced towards the Morlock. The Twelve Tower Fire Warriors advanced towards the Biovore. Storm Surge advanced towards the Gene Stealers. The Tide of Defense Wall advanced towards the Biovore. The Broadside Battle Suit advanced towards the Flying Hive Tyrant. The Free Crisis Battle Suits advanced towards the Carnifexes. As the Tau have no Psychers in their army, they skipped the Psychic phase. In the Tower Army, there is one Devilfish, 12 Tower Fire Warriors, one Storm Surge, one Tidal Defense Wall, one Broadside Battle Suit, three Crisis Battle Suits, and one Riptide, coming to a total of 2,000 points.
Hi guys, welcome to the channel. This is not clickbait. In this Warhammer 40k tournament, one player is going to win £5,000 at the end. This is part of a new weekly series where 20 players from around the world compete head to head in a knockout tournament until we get to the final two players and the one ultimate player who takes home the £5,000. This is an international tournament. For example, Mark from Sweden can play against Dominic from USA and so on. So before I show you the highlights from the first battle, I need to show you that the money is genuine. So we'll do a quick money inspection. You can see that these notes are in fact all real. You can see the quality for got exact things as you'd see on normal notes. Just do a quick inspection now of all of the money so that you can see that this is in fact the genuine article. As well as having over £40,000 worth of models to play with. If any of this interests you, or you'd like to register to compete in one of the future tournaments, please find my details below where you will need to drop me a message to register and then we will invite you to our tournament login area when the next tournament arises. We aim to run Welcome to Great Wargaming. My name's Ryan Gray and in this video I'm going to be giving away 20 Leviathan Warhammer 40k rulebooks. I ordered 22 boxes of Leviathan, which means I don't need 22 rulebooks. In fact, I just need one rulebook. That means there's going to be 21 rulebooks to be given away in this video. To be in a chance to win a rulebook, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to Grey Wargaming. Now, let's talk about the models. 